मैं आप सबको जो इस वक्त देख रहे हैं और मुझे सुन रहे हैं इस प्रोग्राम में पीस मेकर प्रोग्राम में तमाम लोगों को खुश आमदीद कहता हूँ और आज बहुत ही बहुत बड़े खूबसूरत गेस्ट जो है हमारे सेवन स्टार टीवी के स्टूडियो में पीस मेकर प्रोग्राम में शामिल हैं और आप इंजॉय करेंगे सो so, पास्टर डॉक्टर बॉब रॉबर्ट्स जिनका तालुक अमेरिका से है वो पास्टर हैं थलोजियन हैं और ब्रिज बिल्डर्स हैं और चर्च प्लांटर हैं और बहुत सालों से अमेरिका में और पूरे वर्ल्ड में वो खिदमत कर रहे हैं और लोगों के लिए बायस बरकत हैं और वो मोहब्बत और खुशी और पीस और लव और खुदा का कलाम जो है पूरी दुनिया में फैला रहे हैं और आज इस वक्त हमारे सेवन स्टार टीवी के स्टूडियो में मौजूद हैं आप मैं जब उन्हें कहूँगा वो अपनी जुबान से बताएंगे और आप इंजॉय करेंगे पास्टर डॉक्टर बॉब रॉबर आई एम वेरी ग्लैड एंड फील ऑनर दैट यू आर विद अस इन आवर सेवन स्टार टीवी स्टूडियो इट्स अ प्रोग्राम कॉल पीस मेकर so i am so glad so i would request you reverend dr bob robert what god put in your heart you can share good thing for people and i believe it will be blessing for all of us for pakistan and for other country who will uh, see and hear this program Thank you Dr. Marcus Fida. I am excited to be with you. Uh it's been my joy to know about you for many years and to get to eat real Pakistani food in your home. It was spicy, it was good. I loved it. Uh it's been fantastic. I appreciate you, your ministry, your work and all that you've done. You're one of the real heroes of the faith and one of the leaders in this part of the world but also the global church. So thank you so much for having me today. It's an honor to be with you. Yeah. So you please tell what uh, you have a vision for God's kingdom and what you are doing and what is the need today to the world. I think uh when you think about what's going on in the world today there has never been a time when we've needed peacemaking more than we need it today. Yeah. Never been a time uh countries uh are at odds with one another but even people inside of countries are upset with one another now marcus i was raised in texas yeah and we want to baptize everybody yeah and so we want to preach the gospel tell the good news of jesus and then see people get filled with the holy spirit go out live victorious live free share their faith yeah. i never thought about being a peacemaker oh yeah why would i want to be a peacemaker that's boring I just want to see people accept Christ and baptize everybody I can. And but the reality is Jesus was a peacemaker. I mean in in and Isaiah 9, I mean makes it clear he's called wonderful counselor, mighty God, prince of peace. Amen. Prince of peace. Amen. And and we don't understand God's kingdom sometimes. See especially the way I was raised it's hurry up get saved and wait to die so you can go to heaven. Yeah. Hurry up and get saved and wait to die so you can go to heaven. That's not what the Bible is all about. The Old Testament was about God revealing himself to a people, to a nation. Jesus comes revealing himself to all humanity, no longer just one group. but the whole world. I mean. That's wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. And and then how how does he start out in Matthew? He he preaches the sermon on the mount. The very first thing he does is to teach the sermon on the mount. The sermon on the mount is not talking about what heaven's going to be like. Yeah. 
It's talking about what earth is going to be like when Christians live the way that God wants them to. Do you realize the majority of the New Testament is not, let's hurry up and wait and die so we can go to heaven? The majority of the New Testament is, how do we live the Christian life? How do we be a blessing to others? How do we glorify God? That demands a living person. Now, just let that sink in. And so, if you believe that God's kingdom is alive and well, then, then do you believe in heaven and hell? Of course. But you also believe in heaven and earth. Jesus spoke far more about heaven and earth than He spoke about heaven and hell. They're both true. But we have more to do with how we can bring heaven, the rule and the reign of God on earth, how we can do that right now, Marcus, than we could ever do anything else. And so core to that is peacemaking. That's, what, that's why the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5, 9. Yeah. Blessed are the peacemakers, yeah. for they will be called the children of God. Yeah. The peacemakers. Yeah. And so everything starts with making peace. Peace with God. Yeah, uh, pe- peace in your marriage. Amen? Yeah, I mean, I mean if your wife gets upset with you, you've got to make sure. i got to make peace with her. Pe- peace in the family. Um, peace in the city. Peace in the church. Yeah. I mean, peace is core to what we do. You know, Marcus, it's sad because yeah. a lot of times we just tolerate one another. Yeah. We don't like one another. Yeah. We get upset with one another. That old person, what's wrong with them? Amen. But peace is everything. Yeah. It matters. Amen. So my vision is yeah. how can everyday people, one of my visions, yeah. how can everyday people be peacemakers? Amen. And I'm, I'm sorry to say in America, Sometimes Christians are not always seen as peacemakers. Yeah. And so we have to work at that. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Your sharing is really today. What is the message for people today? What they have to do now to promote peace every day and love and harmony among all people? I would say there's several things that we can do to promote peace. First of all, I think the promises of being a peacemaker are very profound. Yeah. It's all throughout the scriptures. I mean, you look at the word peace, it's everywhere. Uh, uh, the Jews say shalom, which means yeah. peace. Yes. Muslims say salam alaikum, which means peace be upon you. We Christians don't need to miss out on peace. Yeah. We need to be right in there leading the way. Marcus, James uh, 3.18 says, I love this verse. Yeah. There's a harvest of righteousness for those who work peace. Oh. Isn't that good? Yeah. And when there's peace, you just don't get the uh, resolution of conflict. Yeah. You just don't get calm, but you become at ease, yeah. at rest. Yeah. You're not uptight. And when you have that, then there's a harvest of righteousness. People can get along. They work better. Uh, You can produce more. Uh, There's so many good things that are the benefit of peace. We just think, okay, peace so people aren't fighting. No. Peace so people can flourish. See, that's very important. So, So here's what we can do if we want to be a peacemaker. Here's the most important thing. Number one, Marcus, we've got to be in relationships with people. Amen. A lot lot of times we think, okay, I see a problem. I want to go over there and fix it. And we get thrown out. Well, why? We have no relationship. I do a lot of work in trying to build peace between Muslims and Christians around the world. And I discovered it helps if I'm friends with Muslims. (laughs) I mean... You, you've got to get to you've got to get to know those people. So it all starts with relationships. Yes. You know, do do you like people? Do yeah. you care about them? Yeah. Good. So I think that's the first yes. thing. Uh, just just looking at people for who they are. Yeah. Let me tell you. Can I tell you a story? Yeah. So I was in Vietnam. Okay. And I was with a man who was a communist leader of that country. Yeah. And so he knew I was a Christian pastor. So we were talking about God and, and visiting about what I believed. And I was trying to explain Jesus to him. And, 
And I asked him, I said, why do you want to be a communist? Okay. I was just curious. You know, I mean, it's, it can be a difficult life. It can be hard for many reasons. Why? Why don't you want all of these freedoms? Yeah. And he said, you know, Bob, and I'd never thought about this, Marcus. He said, you're an American. You lived in America during that war. He said, I was a little boy when America and Vietnam fought. Oh, yeah. I could hear the bomber jets flying above. Oh, yeah. I could see the bombs. And then one day when a jet was coming, the, the, I, I survived, but it was so close that I, it, the, the, uh, the concussion from the bomb caused me to fall down, and it burned my back. Yes. He said, you might feel like communism like I do if you went through what I did. See, a very important lesson. Yeah. I yeah. was trying to listen and understand him from my perspective, yeah. not his. Yeah. He had a story. Yeah. Yeah. I had to listen to his story. Yes. I had to understand his pain. Yeah. And so we've done a lot of work in Vietnam and peace building. Amen. But I had to get in their skin, if you will. Yeah. And so you, you, if, if you're going to become a friend with someone, You've got to do more listening than you do talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. True. Yeah. So tell me, what, what? why do you feel this way? Yeah. And, and a lot of times what we do as peacemakers, yeah. we want to convince someone really fast, here's what you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. You're in that way? way? I can tell you what's wrong with you. Now just listen to me. Yeah. Do what I say. <laughs> doesn't work that way. Yeah. We have to listen. Oh, what was the yeah. offense? Good. What was the hurt? Good. What was the pain? Good. Good. And if I can get quiet and listen to that, wow. then it makes all the difference wow. in the world. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> beautiful. Thank you. Really, you shared your heart and beautiful thing to promote love, peace, and harmony. Hallelujah. We need it. We need we it. Do, we do need it. Much. We do Thank need you it. Very much. it. It, it just, doesn't just happen. Yeah. Doesn't just happen. Yeah, you're, you're right. We have to work at it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Marcus. Yeah. Most of the time, people start with the head. Yeah. And if they can figure it out. Yeah. And they'll halfway like you, then it goes to the heart. Yeah. And if that works, then I, we go to the hand. <laughs> One of the best things that we can do as peacemakers is don't start with the head. No, no. Start with the hand. Uh, now think about what Jesus whoa. did. When Jesus came, you know, he didn't say, here I am, son of God, here's what you need to believe. Yeah. Do you know what he started doing first, Marcus? Yeah. He healed people. Yeah. He healed them. He fed them. He met them right where they were. Wow. Wow. So we do the same thing. Yes. So how can we serve someone? Yes. See, we, we want to give people, we want to talk to them, tell them what they need to think. Yeah. Show them love. And when we begin to serve them and work together, yeah. then it captures their heart. It captures our heart. Yeah. We build that relationship, yeah. and now we're ready to have those deep conversations. Yeah. And, and we've got to be patient. Yeah. So, yes. Good. Very good. Very good. So thank you very much, Reverend. Dr. Bob Roberts, you share beautiful thing. God bless you again. Thank you. I am very uh, thankful that you are here with us in our Samsar TV studio program called Peacemaker. Thank you very much. God bless you. And God bless your ministry. And God bless your vision. And wherever you go, in the world, God may use you for his kingdom and for the people. God bless you. So, Apne Iswakat, Reverend Dr. Bob Roberts, say, Bauti Khum Surat Bate Suni, Peace Ke Bare, Love Ke Bare, Aar Hamni, Kisra Ham Dunia Me, Joe Promote Kar Sakte Hai. तो आपने जरूर इससे कुछ सीखा होगा बरकत हासिल की होगी और मेरा ईमान है आप ये खुश भी हुए होंगे हम फिर कभी फिर इसके बाद जो एक और दूसरा प्रोग्राम होगा और दूसरे गेस्ट के साथ आएंगे पीस मेकर में तब तक 
के लिए हमें इजाजत दें खुदा हाफि